Derek Sanderlin spent three years training the San Jose police on implicit bias and procedural justice, but during a protest over the death of George Floyd, Sanderlin was injured by rubber bullets from that same police department, local outlet KGO reported. Sanderlin is now wondering if his efforts made any difference. The way that, the way that they've treated people out there has over the weekend has been really heartbreaking because the chief is like a good person, who's really trying to do the right thing, he told KGO. According to the Los Angeles Times, Sanderlin stood between protesters and police and pleaded for the officers to stop shooting rubber bullets at the crowd, before having the bullets aimed directly at his groin. I pause for a moment like maybe this isn't, maybe this doesn't hurt, and falling afterward is like the most painful experience, Sanderlin told KGO. KGO reported that officer Jared Ewan was placed on desk duty and is facing an internal affairs investigation after the shooting rubber bullets at the protesters. I really just couldn't watch it anymore, Sanderlin said. And just kind of made like a parallel walkover, put my hands up, and just stood in the line of the fire and asked them to please not do this. Sanderlin needed emergency surgery for a ruptured testicle after being shot by the rubber bullets, according to the Times. While the surgery was successful, he was told he may still never be able to have children. And I just started weeping at the thought of that. You know, we, we do want kids and we're very close to having kids, his wife, Kayla Sanderlin told KGO. The couple has gotten an attorney and are preparing a federal civil rights lawsuit against the police and city alleging excessive force. To see how the protest unfolded really, really disappointed me, Sanderlin told the LA Times. Because I was holding the tension of already knowing what police relationships were like and also hoping for a change, hoping for something new and good. And it seems as if they, the officers, just didn't get that message. Videos captured by local outlets had shown Sanderlin de-escalating a situation where protesters smashed the window of a car. The LA Times reported that videos showed Sanderlin, shooing, people away. As soon as I heard the glass break, I turned around and was like whoa, 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 Sanderlin said. He seemed like a nice dude. I just said, get out of here, man. He seemed really upset, and I didn't want things to escalate further or anyone else to get hurt, so I just tried to encourage him to just move along. After KGO informed San Jose Police Chief Eddie Garcia about the incident, he reached out to Sanderlin. Derek has been a real leader in our community's efforts to reduce bias and discrimination through dialogue. I assured him we will be investigating this incident, Garcia told KGO.